Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another review, and this time I'm going to be doing another Christmas uh, special. And of course, it's going to be the the Grinch. How the Grinch stole Christmas, which is of course is a famous uh, story by Dr. Seuss, and it aired, I believe, originally aired on originally CBS. In, 19, in 1966. Uh, please excuse my voice. I'm getting over a, uh, a cold. And it was animated by Chuck Jones. Who of course, is famous for uh, doing all those Bugs Bunny cartoons for Warner Brothers. And of course, it was uh, the How the Great Store Christmas was, of course, was red by Boris Karloff and was also the voice of the Grinch himself and which was except for uh, Cindy Lou Who that was, that was really the only real speaking part in the whole in the whole sit in the whole special and of course those of you who don't know who you know how the Grinch stole Christmas well basic story is is that there was this guy as hermit this creature called the Grinch and I don't know why he's called the Grinch and I don't know what type of creature he's supposed to be he gets a, gets a, uh, a monster I guess and he's he lives in this cave on this mountain just over Hooville which is like a little town and it's all populated by these characters called the Who's. And of course, Christmas is coming, and he hates Christmas. For whatever reason, he hates Christmas. And because, well, he gave the reason is because of all the noise. Of all the, the kids, or the children in the town, always playing with the toys, the drums, um, and all that noise was the Guys are crazy. So what, he, so what he wants to do is try to stop Christmas from coming, which of course we all know that's not, you know, is it possible to, you know, stop Christmas from coming just for selling all the all the to all the Christmas presents? But but he goes and does it anyway. He gets dressed up in, in a fake Santa Claus suit and he gets his dog Max involved. He puts like a horn on his head to make it look like a reindeer. You know the horn is bigger than the whole dog. And then he goes goes down to Hooville and he steals everything from every house. You know every house is in the square. Then he um then while he's when he's still a Christmas tree, that's when Cindy Lou Who comes out of the bedroom he hears a, she heard all this noise going on wants to check it out and he sees the Grinch sticking the chimney the the tree up the chimney and she says Santa what are you doing and he says well I'm just taking it back to my workshop because it doesn't lay on one side so I'm going to take it back to my workshop fix it and bring it back here and she believed it Goes back to bed and that's it. Well, he does, you know, like I said, he does steal everything that's in Hooville. Goes back up the mountain and he's on this this peak and he's waiting for all the people, the reaction for the people of Hooville because he wants to, you know, hear him cry, being upset that they don't have all the presents, they don't have anything anymore. Because the Grinch has it, has it all. Well, Christmas came anyway. Without all the all the toys. And the Grinch is asking Max, how is it possible? They don't have boxes, they don't have ribbons, they don't have the, all these gadgets, all these toys. How can Christmas come? And of course he figured out that it's not just a day is more of a frame of mind more than anything else and it's going to come even without all that stuff 
So he does save the feathers because the feather was about to fall over. He saves it all. And he comes back into the town, gives everything back, and he even joins in the in the great who feast at the end of the special. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I'm still recovering from from a cold I had. And, and so that so that's how they you know pretty much ended the how the great stole Christmas. But it's still one of the more famous uh Christmas specials. Especially that song, the Grinch song. Uh, you're you you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, and, and and how the Grinch is described. And that song is still playing on the radio. Uh, to the to this day, uh, every time for, for during the Christmas season, from Thanksgiving to Christmas, every so often that, that song comes on the radio. You know, it's kind of cool because they have, and and rather listen to the novelty songs. Then the more so-called traditional Christmas songs, and the good song is is right is right up there with, with with the novelty songs. But but the you know the show itself is still I mean you could tell that it was written by or animated by Chuck Jones you know from the uh, Warner Brothers with the Bugs Bunny cartoons. You know, have the same uh, style almost you know, you know how how it was drawn how it was made. The same style as all those uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons from the 1950s and the 60s. That that particular style, which works out, and it's also one of the few Christmas shows that making and Bass had nothing to do nothing to do with now because they make it, made everything else, and that's one of the few that they didn't do, which is surprising. Just like I said in my early reviews, they're the kings of the uh, Christmas shows. But that's my review for How the Great Stole Christmas. Uh, please, you know, like the video. Watch all, please watch all my other videos because I still have some videos that don't even have like one or two views on. So please watch my other videos, like them, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you next time.